on, my dear Charlie. So much to do in so little time. This way, please. We'll take the wonk -evator. Charlie? Grandpa Joe, sir? This is the great glass wonk -evator. It's an elevator. It's not only an elevator. An elevator can only go up and down. The wonk -evator can go sideways and slantways and longways and backways and frontways and squareways and any other ways you can think of. It can take you direct to any room in the factory. Just press a button and zip, you're off. All my life I've been longing to press this button, but I never dared to. So you're going to press it, Charlie. Who, me? Why, yes, you. Hold on tight. Faster, come on, faster, faster. If we don't pick enough speed, we'll never make it through here. Through what? <sighs> You wait and see. But you don't mean, you don't really mean that this thing is going to. Oh, I do. But it's made of glass. It will shine into a thousand or tiny pieces. It probably will. Here it comes. Hold on tight, Charlie. Hold on, everybody. Ah! Well done, sir. We made it. Look, Grandpa, there's our town. It's fantastic. Mr. Wonga, what happened to all the other children? Augustus, Ruka. My dear boy, I can assure you, they'll be quite all right. As soon as they leave here, they'll be completely restored to their normal, terrible old selves. But a little fear can go a long way. Maybe on the inside, they'll be changed for the better. And how did you like the factory, Charlie? Were you afraid? No, not at all. I think it's the most wonderful place in the whole wide world. I'm very pleased to hear you say that. Because, my dear boy, I've decided to make you a present out of it. I'm giving it to you. That's all right. You can't be serious. I'm deadly serious, sir. Alas, I do not have perpetual old age. Who will run the factory when I depart? I can't abandon my precious Oompa Loompas. So, who do I choose? Not a grown-up. A grown-up will want to do everything his own way, not mine. So I decided a long time ago, I will choose a child. A good-hearted, honest, loving child. That will, I will teach all of my greatest candy-making secrets. That's why you sent up the golden tickets. Exactly. The factory's yours, Charlie. You can move in immediately. And me? Of course. And mother? Why not? What about Grandma Georgina and Grandma Josephine and Grandpa George? Oh, bring the whole lot. You have enough chocolate in here to feed the entire world. But Charlie, don't forget what happened to the man who suddenly got everything he wanted. What happened? He lived happily ever after.